Plagiarism, the practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as one's own, also known as copying, piracy, theft, and stealing. Guys, I got caught in 4K yesterday, and I was gonna make a community post about it, explaining it, but there was a lot more that I wanted to say, and I wanted to talk to you directly. I wanted to impress upon you the gravity of plagiarism uh, when you're at an impressionable age. So let's start with what happened yesterday and a little bit of history on it. And uh, and then I'll talk about why uh, you should never, ever copy other people's work. You probably already know this, but this is a prime example of how it can get you into trouble and also how you can get other people into trouble. So yesterday I uh, got onto Twitter. I always have my Twitter app open. Uh, if you guys ever need to contact me, Twitter is the place or you can use my uh, contact email comments on YouTube. I don't see a lot of them. This tweet from our officially Ionix here said, I don't even know if bro is aware of this, but Think Noodles, your thumbnail artist, took an asset off of Polar Club Art, aka Flamingo's thumbnail artist. And so this is the thumbnail uh, for my video. Uh, and this is Flamingo's. And, and you'll notice here like a big eye with like these eyes. And you can really, if you look closely, you can see that the orientation is very much the same. This right here in here came from this right here. It's a little bit redder, uh, you know, it, it, it's got a little bit of a shadow on it, but and it's a little bit tilted, but this was copied from that. So they were right. And uh, I reacted, I'll, I'll, I'll blur that word. I, I was really upset and I said, I'm done. I'm really sorry about that. Had this happen a few weeks back when my thumbnail artist copied a different YouTuber. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Thumbnail editor will be promptly fired. So you may or may not know, but uh, a majority of YouTubers use thumbnail editors, thumbnail artists to create thumbnails for their videos. Uh, I do, uh, I, sometimes I make my own, uh, <laughs> but I'm not very good at it. And I know that a thumbnail artist, that's their specialty. I'm good at making videos, but not so good at art and thumbnails. So I pay someone to make thumbnails for my videos. Now, the reason I used that language is because this wasn't the first time with this thumbnail artist. Rewind to September 13th, and we have another one here. And, and this one upset me even more, but it was the first occurrence. Uh, it's this thing, Noodles. You must really like a manly badass hero quite a bit. But stealing his thumbnails isn't a great way to make an homage to him. You saved his thumbnails and altered them, slapping on your cat logo and make them more red. Not cool, dude. Not cool. And these are the examples, and they're 100% right. Uh, this is the original from uh, from the other uh, creator, and that's mine. And you can see that is identical, uh, just red with uh, the comic book lines. And this one is even more blatant because this rat is not in the game anywhere. So if it ended up in the thumbnail, uh, <laughs> eating a potato or whatever that is, I don't even know. Uh, it's a copy, 100%. I apologize, I pay a thumbnail editor for all my thumbnails and was completely unaware of this. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I will change them immediately and make sure that he's aware that this is unacceptable. And uh, I showed uh, screenshots of uh, them providing me uh, these thumbnails to prove that it wasn't me. And this is where plagiarism gets you and anyone you're working for into trouble because this person assumed that I made my own thumbnails, that I was aware of what was happening. And ultimately, this affects my reputation with uh, the community, uh, with other creators. Uh, it gives me a reputation of being a, a thief, an art thief. So if you are an aspiring artist, do not even think about it. It is so easy nowadays to copy other people's art, to lift things, uh, to say it's inspired by, but actually copy it and just slightly change it and think you can get away with it. You may get away with it for a little while, but it will come back to haunt you. Now, normally I would never even think of leaking the DMs of someone I work with, but I don't work with him anymore and this needs to be shown. 
Uh, so this was after the first occurrence. I said, you need to redo these thumbnails immediately. We need to be original with them. This creates a very embarrassing situation for me and is not what I pay for. And he says, this is exactly the character from the game. How did I copy him? Look at another thumbnail that has the same character, which true, but it doesn't have the same placement. It doesn't have the same uh, cut off like every I mean, you guys get the point. And then he says, I copy the pic from a Google image. I can try to make different thumbs, but uh, et cetera, et cetera. But I think the fox is a coincidence, maybe. But if you move it, make it smaller, make the fat beard guy and the skeleton. But the rat one is definitely a copy and probably why the user saw the second one looking similar. So he kind of said, ah, you know, I, I didn't do it. Right. And so I was like, OK, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, and uh, he made new thumbnails. Uh, that came out as this one and uh, and this one. So uh, fast forwarding through to yesterday uh, and he gave me this thumbnail and uh, then I said, hey, we're going to have to stop working together. Please refund me for the remaining days of September. In fact, you were warned before and I showed the tweet. He said I did what the editor asked me to do. I thought I was supposed to copy it. The reference for the thumbnail this time, it wasn't my fault. I'll, I'm sorry, I'll show you. And I said, but it is. You see, the reference took creative liberty from the original Flamingo thumbnail, the tentacles and the eyes, but the eyes and tentacles were done originally. Yours were taken directly from his thumbnail, the spacing, shape, angles, everything from his thumbnail. This thumbnail, there's a difference. Do you understand? And once again, you know, you can see, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Wait, it gets worse. I never saw this thumbnail. I copied a screenshot from the game. It was from the link of the game. And I said, no, this is the Dora's logo from the game. That is not the same as that, right? <sighs> nope, not this one. I'm going home. I'll talk. I'll show you what happened. It's OK if you don't want to work with me, but I didn't copy his channel. This infuriated me because I knew it was so obvious that it was copied from that image and uh, not admitting to it. Uh, and not owning up to it and thinking you can still work with me or have any integrity made me so upset. Now he says, got home. I found the pic. I didn't find the link. I realized the screenshot is from Flamingo's thumbnail. I didn't know that. I thought it was a screenshot from the game creator and not a YouTube thumbnail. So I used the same eyes and changed the background. So, you know, it, it's kind of like saying I did copy it, but I didn't realize that I copied it. Still not admitting to the plagiarism. And yet it gets worse. Since the idea was doors with eyes, I did the background based on that. This is from my creative director giving uh, advice or direction to the thumbnail editor uh, that says, you know, incorporating more of the eyes and a doorway would be advantageous using your caricature instead of the kitten emoji would be advantageous. And this was like an example of, uh, of what to do. And you can see it does have the extra eyes in the doorway, like the doors logo, except the, all these tentacles are original. The eyes are drawn more original and not copied. So Doors game has this background with doors all over the place. Bruh. No kidding. So I did like in the game, put tentacles like the reference for the thumbnail. Well, I mean, there are tentacles here, even on the original. That that that's that's the game itself. I used this eyes because I thought the game was exactly like this, but the original picture didn't have good quality like you see here. So I drew it similar, copying the eyes to make it sharp. Drew didn't <laughs> no, you copied. You copied it. Then if you see our recent thumbs, they're all different. I'm always taking care of that. I really did wrong in using the eyes. So almost admitting that you plagiarized and copied, but just said use the eyes. They really look like from another creator, not from the game. That was a big mistake. I should have looked for more pictures from those eyes and see how it looks in game. Like I said, it's up to you if you want to keep working with me or not. I just want to clarify what happened is different than what happened last time. Even if you see our last thumbs, I always try to look for raw screenshots and games so we don't have these problems. And last time he kind of said I didn't do it. And now he's saying it's different. I did do it last time, but he did it again. And I said, I can't risk it any long longer. It reflects on my reputation and I get the blame publicly. Says, OK, I'm still doing some other thumbnails. I'll finish them and send them to you. You can use them or not up to you. I'll send them tonight. And then the the the, <laughs> the cherry on top. This one blew my mind. 
says, take a look at another channel. Use the same eyes, probably from the same screenshot. They're all similar. I'm not sure if this video went before Flamingo's video. Now, yes, there it is again. That like the, the door, like with the, with the, with the tentacles looking the same. And I realized that he didn't actually copy Flamingo's thumbnail. He copied this guy's thumbnail who copied Flamingo's thumbnail. This is like plagiarism -ception. Absolutely mind blowing. So <laughs> I said, that's even worse. The one you made me is a copy of both the background and the eyes and the door pattern. So <laughs> let's go back to the original thumbnail here. So look closely. There is this sort of pasted on to this doorway and it's a weird door. It's like kind of like glass or something. I, you know, you can see the door here and then there's like this, like, well, there's the circle under my legs and then there's these like weird like nails or something like tacks on the floor. And I, I saw them when I was really analyzing the thumbnail closely, trying to figure out, uh, you know, what when I had seen this you know, that that part is actually different. So this part is the only stolen part from a Flamingo's thumbnail, I guess, minus the exclamation point, but you know, that's, that's whatever. But now this, again, look closely at the wall, all of this stuff here, right? The circle. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, why is this so small? I need this bigger. Here we go, look at this. You see the weird door I was talking about there that like I can't quite figure out it's like glass or something. Do you see the wall there? The exclamation point. We see that too. We see the little circle and we see these tacks, these weird nails and tacks. This was the original copy that he copied. And even worse, it wasn't just this part he lifted from Flamingo's thumbnail. This person lifted that from Flamingo's thumbnail, put it into their own thumbnail, and then my editor lifted the entire thumbnail, took off that, took off that, and put my character there, zoomed it in, and charged me for it. And then, and then, he says the door is literally captured from the game, man. You can see it's a different angle. Huh? What are you talking about? You mean you twisted it a little bit? Not the game I was playing. They were metal doors. There were no nails intact on the floor in any game shot. Seriously, admit to it and please refund the last half of the month or we're going to give you to disagree. But this is way, way worse. Then we start talking about payment and he owes me money. Uh, but um, I in the end, I said, look, I don't care. Keep the money. What I do care about is my reputation and plagiarism has no place in this world. Now that we've established you plagiarized another YouTuber who plagiarized the original thumbnail, it's clear you have no remorse. This is your third occurrence that I know of. Other people need to know this is what they're getting if they hire you. And I'm going to warn everyone about this. And then he got <laughs> worried because this could affect his future work. And uh, and I he just I, I was done. If you are a creator and you're watching this, uh, Watch out for Nominus. Uh, be very careful, I would say. Make sure that you search YouTube for at least the game title so you might check, I don't know, the top 50 thumbs. Make sure that your thumb is original and unique. If you're an aspiring artist, uh, again, it's tempting. It is so easy to copy other people's work, pass it off as your own, make a little change to it. But guys, the community is undefeated. They will always notice. They will always tell. And once your reputation and your integrity is lost, getting it back is impossible. Uh, you will always be thought of as an art thief. You will never, ever uh, be trusted by uh, other creators or the community. So do not plagiarize. And uh, I'm sure that you've been taught this in school, but trust me, uh, when you get into the business world, uh, when you get into the art world, you might get an F on an assignment that you copied in school and you can continue in school uh, sometimes. <laughs> but uh, it, in, in the real world, if you do this uh, and you get caught, you might have someone forgiving like me that's going to give you a second chance. Uh, but if you blow it again, uh, you're done. Now, I just want to say to the entire community, to all of you, to all of the creators uh, whose thumbnails have been ripped off and put on my channel, I am so sorry. 
I do not support plagiarism or copying of any kind. Uh, I've had my videos ripped before. I know how it feels and I am incredibly sorry. Uh, and to all of you out there uh, who watch my videos, who see all of my thumbnails, uh, I'm putting, I, I, I'm giving you guys a call to action. Uh, have a look at my thumbnails, all of my old ones. I mean, there's like 5,000 of them, but my old ones, my new ones. And if you ever notice, ever, even, you know, three-year-old videos, four-year-old videos, or tomorrow's video, God, I hope not. Uh, let me know by either using my contact email on my channel or on Twitter that you see a similarity that you see that my thumbnail has been copied and I will <laughs> change it immediately. I, I do not want uh, to have that reputation. Uh, I, I've been doing this for over 10 years and always uh, done the right thing. I thought I was doing the right thing by paying someone thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars over the past uh, eight months. Uh, to, that he was doing the right thing as well. And it turns out I was wrong. So I have to rely on you guys to, to keep an eye on things because I just can't. Thank you to those of you who pointed it out. Uh, thank you to Polar Club Art for uh, being so kind about it. I did apologize to her personally in DMs uh, and she was super nice about it. Uh, thanks to all of you for taking the time to listen to me. And remember, don't steal art.